Coach Arian said that he felt you really helped yourself tonight. How did this game feel to you versus the first game like what, a week ago as far as running around making plays? Yeah, um, so I feel like I approach every game the same. I just try to give my best effort and you know prepare the best I can. Um, I think that last game I was kind of nervous. Um, like I didn't think I was going to be, and I got out there, and uh, I felt like my, my arm shaking. So what's going on? <laughs> yeah. um, but today I was a lot more calm and collected, and uh, I was really focused on being a good teammate. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like uh, that, that was the difference between today and, and last game. I was, I was trying to make a lot of plays last game. Today I was trying to be a good teammate, be in my gap. Uh, if I had to go against a 300-pound lineman, just make sure I'm staying in my gap and being strong and uh, you know, it, just run to the ball. You know? So that's what I thought about today. Is the hardest thing not trying to do too much, but just do your job? Yeah, yeah. Um, especially this week, going to, going against them. You know, I had some reps where I, I had lost this week, and and so I saw the same matchup in the game, and I was wanting to just do some extra. Uh, but you know, I try to stay uh, with my technique and uh, just do what the coach asked me to do, and just really play my butt off. That's all I could do. You know. Was you were saying uh, last game you were kind of nervous? Did that the presence of the fans have something to do with that as well in terms of kind of hearing the roar and everything? Um, I guess it just I, I really wasn't focused. Um, I, I I wasn't focused where I, where I needed to be. You know, um, I was trying to make plays for myself rather than just trying to go out there and do my job. Uh, I don't think the fans had a whole lot to do with that. We played at fans with fans at, at Houston, um, but you know this week honestly. Um, I just received a message from, you know, one of my brothers um, and just told me to, to have confidence um, that the Lord had placed me here for a reason um, and just to continue to, to think about giving him the glory, you know. So that's what I try to do with every play. Like, I, I'm blessed to be out here. I'm really not supposed to be out here. I'm really not that athletic, like, be real. Um, but I'm trying to give him the glory for, for putting me here and just doing my absolute best. Like, that's all I can do. Like, no matter what. I get cut or I get to another team, like whatever it may be, like I had a confidence, like I did everything I could and I did my best, you know. So that's really what I was focused on this game and compared to last game. I was just like, you know what, like if I make a mistake, oh well, I'm going to go out there and do my best and be a good teammate. What, what will it mean to you next week to get to go to Houston and play a game there? Yeah, um, so, you know, I got the family, you know, turned off. Uh, I uh, got all the tickets and the plane tickets for my wife and my sister that are here with me. Uh, they're heading out there as well. Um, you know, that, that don't mean a lot. You know, I, I had actually um, envisioned making a lot of plays at NRG. Um, I lived right across the street from NRG, so me and my dog, we go on runs over there. Um, and I'd always just kind of look like I'm going to make some plays in the stadium. So, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to make that happen and uh, be able to celebrate with the family after as well. So that's exciting for me. What's the dog's name? Eden. Yeah, Eden. That's my girl. Yeah, she's bad though, but that's my girl. Yeah. She's bad. She just behaves a lot. You got to... Yeah, she just she's really excited all the time. She always wants to play at like three in the morning. She'll just start making some noise. Yeah, but yeah, she's cool. It's tough during camp. Yeah, yeah. I, she is a lab mix. Uh, my wife actually brought her home one day, like without asking me. Like she asked me, she's like, "Hey, we need a dog." I was like, "I already brought my other dog to my dad's house. I need to focus. I didn't feel like I was being a good dog parent." And then I just came home one day. There was just this dog in my living room, and I was like, "All right, we're gonna do this." Uh -huh. So she's been great. Yeah. Does that with my dad all the time. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the biggest thing, or the biggest area that you've grown and improved in while you've been here? Uh, I mean, being a linebacker. Um, I've only played six games in the box um, before the NFL. You know, I was a, a big nickel Sam linebacker, four three. I was fitting. I was free, nobody, I never had to take on linemen, never had to really read my keys or anything like that. I, I was really able to just uh, cover receivers and tight ends and stuff like that. I've never had to, to get in the middle of a formation and feel the flow and, and get in my gap. And, you know, last week I was just trying to run in there and, and go fit there, but sometimes you got to be solid and, you know, be that type of player. So uh, I feel like that's really what I've been, where I've been improving. You know, Levante and Devin, uh, mentor. Uh, KJ, you know, Joe, all of them have been playing linebacker. So all of them have just really been helping me and saying like, hey, put your hands here, you know, put your head in this gap and, and stuff like that. And, and Coach Caldwell has been a, been a huge help for me. You know, it's, it still kind of feels like a new position that I'm learning to do. Um, so there's some things like I've never played against two back run fit and I didn't get any reps in practice this week. So I was really had to just get in my film and, and understand what I have to do. And uh, yeah, so that's what.
Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, what have you enjoyed most about playing in a Todd Bowles type of defense? Yeah, I really feel like uh, it fits my strengths. It allows me to just run, um, especially if we get like you know a big nose in there like Benny or uh, you know v uh, Vita or any of those guys. You know, just be able to to sit in the middle and just chase plays down left to right. That's really what I enjoy about this defense. I, you know, I'm not asked to cover uh, C.D. Lamb like I was at Houston. You know, um, I can just get in there and, you know, cover a fullback or a running back or a tight end or something and really just play aggressive. Uh, he really allows us to do that and puts a lot on the linebackers uh, for communication and stuff. So I, I, that also fits my strength to go home and study and get in my book. Yeah. Patience, one of the harder traits that you have to kind of develop at that position. Like yes. You said because you wanted to shoot your gap. And yes. Sometimes you just have to let plays come to you. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So just being patient, being smart. Um, understanding the whole concept of the defense. That's really what I've improved on lately is understanding, like, hey, I got a safety here. He's in the fit with me. There's no need for me to, to try to go make the play. That's his gap. I can just lever, lever my gap, and I can uh, expect him to make the play, you know, so. What's the biggest difference between linebacker in college is to play linebacker in the NFL? Oh, uh, hands-on blocks. Um, when, I was, when I was playing in college, I was able to use my, my quickness I was able to, to you know, maybe stem my offensive lineman and get him to, to overset, and I come inside and be in the gap. Here, you know, they're going to be in their gap, and this guy, this guy is going to be trying to reach the other guy. So it's like you have no choice but to, to go up and put your hands on him and get in that gap like this versus just trying to be an athlete down there. you got to play linebacker, you know. So I think that's the biggest difference is probably the offensive lineman and the run schemes as well. They're not as simple. Uh, you know, the offensive linemen like we had today, they're, they're fast, and so they're trying to outrun you and, and get you out of that gap versus just doing some split zone or some college football run plays. I'm learning, you know, but it's, it's fun. Still feel, though, like special teams is going to be your bread and butter on this team. If you make the roster, it's going to be because of that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, you know, special teams. I uh, played a lot of special teams at Houston. Um, really, I only – played defense for a year and a half at Houston. I was an all special teams guy uh, for a while. So, you know, there's a lot of new stuff like, you know, punt and punt returns, a lot of new techniques I'm having to learn. Um, I feel like I'm getting better at it though. But yeah, uh, I feel like just giving a max effort and being that guy that's going to run down there every time, doing his assignment, make some tackles and, you know, be a good teammate. Which one of the Avengers are you? Thor, yeah. <laughs> Thor's my guy, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>